Y'all know the name. What's crackalacking boys and girls? I am Matinio and welcome back to part three of the uh, Renault Sport update DLC showcase, whatever you want to call it. And this time we're in the free DLC car, which is the Radical RXC Turbo. And we're at the full blown Rouen circuit. So we're going to see what we can do in this thing, but it does sound absolutely fantastic. Let's get that inside, shall we? Quite cramped. Yep, no cup holders that I can see. Ford EcoBoost technology, of course. I'm not sponsored by Ford, but if you if sport if Ford would like to sponsor me, fantastic. Emails on the about section of my page. Give me a call, guys. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, we're on the Rouen circuit now. The lap record round here is in the Gumpet Apollo, which is a 149. I don't think this is going to get anywhere near it, but we might be pleasantly surprised. We're going to go for a spin, see what we can do, and may the force be with me. Understate, understate, understate. Need more downforce here. Yep. So this does fall into the road cars class. And it's got seven gears. And it's a little bit twitchy, but it doesn't feel too bad to be honest. Runs through the gears pretty quickly as well. Hey, Bells. Ooh. So yeah, this is uh, it's nice actually. Gotta remember this thing has seven gears. Wow, this thing is quick. And it also is very stable under braking. So yeah, we're not going to beat the Gumper to follow, but... two oh two. 2 that's not bad. Oh, yep, yeah. oh, oh, we're, we're sideways, we're sideways, we're in a golly. Ah, we're going to die! Oh, we're alive, good. Yep, so... Note to self, slow down at that corner. So we'll do this lap and another one. Yeah, so there's a little bit of understeer towards the back end of a corner, but... It's a very smooth ride as well. This is a bumpy track and it's very smooth. I'm not getting a lot of vibrations through the wheel. And uh, this thing feels like it's been set up for acceleration more than top speed. Ooh. But yeah, it's very smooth, very manageable. A little bit twitchy if you're not careful with your throttle inputs. 
Hay bales. Yep, they were hay, they were hay bales. Yeah. I, just, I was just checking. I just wanted to make sure. And they had that authentic hay bale sound when you struck them as well, which is uh, which is key to any racing simulator. Yeah. I am a, a man of exploration. And obviously one who can't remember that this thing has seven years. I think I could probably get 180 out of this thing if I remembered it. it had seven years. Whoa, I need to ease off a little bit there. Right then, final lap, and we're going to ease off just a little bit through here, get turned in just a little bit sooner. There we go, that's better. Whoa, shit. Played for it. Yeah, so there's... There is scope for improvement with this thing, definitely. It is, there's, there is understeer. Definitely want to go to, definitely going to want to rearrange the gears as well. And stay away from the curbs. But other than that, it's quite, it's a smooth ride, I, you know, I like it, you know, you're not constantly being bombarded with every little bump in the track. Unless that's the old thing, I don't know, is it? You can't obviously reply, but whatever. But yeah, it's a nice car to drive. I'd say it's one of the nicer road cars to drive, a lot of them are very twitchy and they're horrible. But this thing isn't too bad. As I said, with a bit of time spent tuning it, you're not going to beat the Gumper, but it, it is a fun car to drive. Very much a track day car. I can't see you uh, getting your your final bit of Christmas shopping in the back of this thing, mainly because there's an engine in the back. Shall we do one more lap? Yeah, why not? One more lap. That was a bit better. Coming down a gear helped. I've got to imagine this Kelly Brook sat right there. And I've got to impress her. It's okay, Kelly. I had everything under control. Relax. Now get your boobies out for me. They help me concentrate. <laughs> God, I'm so stupid. But I think that's part of the reason you guys watch me. Because I am indeed an idiot of of Gantuan proportions. See, I've got Kelly Brooks boobs on my brain now and I can't concentrate on driving. Yep, they're still hay bales. Shit. See, the first lap I was taking it, well, not relatively easy, but I wasn't absolutely going balls to the wall. But as soon as I started tr really trying to eke more time out of this thing, that's when the lap time started dropping. So, yeah, we're definitely going to have to work setup-wise on this thing. But I imagine that within the week there will be some nice setups on projectcarsetups.eu which is what I use for a lot of these things, but 
I never bother with um, messing around with the setup and for these videos because I just want to see what it's like as it's intended, as it was released. See Kelly, we're home safe and sound. Now go upstairs to the bedroom and prepare for me. <laughs> okay, there we go. Part three of the Renault Sport update. This was the Radical RXC Turbo. Uh, nice car, fun to drive, scope for improvement. But um, yeah, quite enjoyable on the whole. I don't think this track and its curbs helped, but whatever. Well, that's the end of the video, so thank you everybody so much for watching. If you enjoyed it and you would like it already, then you should go ahead and subscribe also. Uh, sorry, subscribe, because there are three more videos still to come. We've got the, um, oh, maybe four videos, I don't know, I can't remember. No, there's, the, there's the other Renault again, there's the Formula Renault, which I'm going to do next, and the um, Alpine A4-R2D2C3PO. All these numbers and letters, they're confusing. But yeah, hit like, hit subscribe, stay cool, and I will catch you all on the flip side. Peace! Or maybe two more, I don't know. We'll see where we are at the end of this lap. Yeah, it, it's not very... The brakes are not brilliant either. I was expecting better brakes on this thing, if I'm honest. and for it to be a bit more responsive at the front end. So yeah, a lot of work that needs to be done in this, in the uh, tuning setup, yeah. Uh, that's... <laughs>